Hey guys, this is Adventure Island for the Game Boy. A lot of people played this for the NES, which uh, was a good game. This game's a little different. Uh, they added some new mechanics, like the riding the animals, and you can buy. They got a store you can buy stuff. The first game was just a pretty much flat out platformer. You just kept running, grabbing fruit, getting to the end of levels. And you had a skateboard, but anyway, so yeah, same kind of thing here. I mean, if you played Adventure Island on NES, this is pretty much how the game plays, but it's quicker. It gets pretty crazy. Skateboard also shows up on the NES version. Actually, you know, this game, it's not feeling too different to me than the NES, other than the speed. But, you know, it's a different game, so it's cool. And they got this stuff. Where you can fire something. It's shock breath? I don't know what that is. It's not exactly a fireball. It's more like a spark. And there's the first level. And as you can see at the beginning there, they lay out all the worlds. And there's a little bonus round. Who's an egg? How about, how about any of them? 50. 50 points? Oh boy. I. I huh. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. So I can store things. Like, if I don't want to take him with me right now, I can save him here. Uh, I think I want to leave him there. For now, maybe I can grab another one and try to do the same with the skateboard. That's pretty cool. Oh, a little slow down there. A little too much for the Game Boy. Yeah, but this is a cool platformer, and uh, again, many of you might not have played it. it it's worth checking out if you like uh, the Adventure Island series. I mean, uh, the challenge is a little less, as you can see, but it doesn't make it not fun. Like, I'm actually having a pretty good time here. Alright, next level. Not sure how many levels are in a world. Maybe we'll be able to find out. So far, I'm just getting points from those bonus rounds. I mean, that's great. Alright, so you can't keep the skateboard, but that's fine. Maybe I'll take, uh, take my old whatever he is, dragon or something. Watch out. So I haven't gotten hit yet with the with the dragon or whatever he is. Uh, it must be invincibility, I'm assuming. Yeah. So you can see the energy bar on the bottom. Oh, stupid me. Uh, that's for you. Got to keep eating fruit. If you don't eat the food, the, the meter keeps the, the meter won't replenish unless you eat that fruit. And then you get scored at the end. Oh, there we go. So you get uh, one ups, I guess, through that. And I think I'm gonna leave again that dragon there. Yeah, skateboard's pretty fun. It's not as fast as the NES version again. Like I was saying earlier, that game got crazy. I wasn't so great at it, but I had a friend that could rip right through that game, level by level, not dying. It was interesting to watch, but I'm sure you could find that on YouTube. Someone's probably done that. Hey, you jump pretty high, little monkey. All right, we gotta be hitting a boss up here pretty quick. Maybe this next level. So no other. Uh, I know there's 
there are different uh, creatures you ride. Like, they just have different abilities. They might just have a different shade. Yeah, then again, I'll take it solo. Oh, wow. Oh, very weird. I ran into that wall and I didn't lose my skateboard. That that wouldn't happen on the, the NES version. There is one more sequel to this game. On the Game Boy, at least, I mean. Oh, boy. Look at me. Not a very hard level, either. Oh. I don't get my skateboard anymore. That's too bad. Gotta keep eating that fruit. Kill the spider. Some weird-looking trees. Kind of looks like a cactus. Yeah, you see that? They look like cactuses to me. But I guess it is an adventure island, so they must have exotic new plant life. <coughs> Damn it. That is getting a little old. I want to get through this, man. This, uh... It's not hard. I'm just, see, I'm not being patient. I'm just trying to rip through it as fast as I can, because I don't... You know, that's kind of how I play these games. Alright. Little patience. Patience is a virtue. Right? This damn jump right here. Alright. Just gotta slow myself down. You can't go too slow. The game doesn't encourage that because of this meter of his diabetic fruit needs. Alright. Alright. There we go. Pass this one. There's got to be a boss coming up. I don't know how they present that. If it's a whole level to itself or if it's at the end of a level. I just want to see. That thing I'm seeing right now. Awesome. What is that? Pulpating. I mean, what? Is that a plant, maybe? I mean, I just that doesn't make a lot of sense to me what that is. Well, this is an easy boss. Look at that. That was simple. Well, you know, at least uh, the NES version of the boss was pretty much the same every damn time you ran into him. So you can see I got an ice world, probably your typical world levels. Looks like a sky level in there. I never, uh, like I said, I played this game short, didn't play much or far. So I haven't seen all the game, what the game has, but I I'm assuming that that the uh, bosses change. Yeah, I don't know, it's pretty fun. Seems like the length is, is pretty good too for this, for a Game Boy game at least. Looks like it holds a lot of levels, yeah. Well, yeah. Alright. Levels aren't too too long, but that's uh, Adventure Island for the Game Boy. The original Game Boy. Check it out uh, if you were ever into this, this stuff, because uh, turns out it's uh, actually pretty fun. This is Captain Goodnight saying uh, see you later. Thanks for watching.